Good Tuesday morning, everyone. I am Jerry Gano, and this is your Two Minute Tuesday with WL Alfalfa. 2022 alfalfa production is mostly behind us. Despite many challenges that included drought, extremely high input costs, and other factors, for the most part, alfalfa production has treated growers well. Hay prices are the highest in recent memory, and demand has hay moving as soon as it is put on the market. Once again, alfalfa is proving to be a consistent contributor to farm gate profits. In my travels through the drought-stricken plains, I have observed many row crop production fields that succumb to the environmental stress that drought and heat brought. Certainly, alfalfa was impacted negatively as well. But now with recent rainfall in some areas and cooler air temperatures, alfalfa has responded with additional growth after setting at a standstill during this stressful time. For irrigated alfalfa that still has some water availability, the alfalfa is responding quite well to the lower temperatures and good growing conditions. The prospect for an additional cutting before dormancy is good for a lot of producers. This is the advantage that alfalfa brings to a grower's portfolio. It can usually restart after a prolonged period of little or no water and heat stress, and thereby produce additional tonnage for the calendar year. WL Alfalfas provides varieties and fall dormancies that fit growers' needs and demands that can withstand a year like we have just experienced, hanging on and ready to perform when conditions become better. Planting WL Alfalfa varieties is certainly a wise choice, whether planting the latest in genetics, traits and disease, or pest resistance, or seeking a conventional alfalfa that will perform. WL offers Harvextra with Roundup Ready technology in six elite varieties, ranging from fall dormancy four through nine. Nine distinct WL varieties have Roundup Ready trait technology and an offering of nine WL varieties in conventional alfalfa. Plant WL alfalfa. 